morning guys welcome back to today's video uh we are headed out it's the day after christmas you're probably thinking like where are you going the day after christmas you in america you have black friday in canada we have boxing day so boxing day is the day after christmas it's the day that you box up all your boxes get rid of all your boxes it's also the day that starts all the massive sales you want to get rid of all the christmas stuff so everything gets marked down massive amounts like it's as big as black friday black friday in canada is just starting to become a thing but we've never had it before we didn't we never used to ever have black friday it's always been boxing day so this is our biggest shopping day of the year going out boxing day shopping today the girls both have money what are you looking to get red purple sylvia has purple hair that happened yeah Turn, it looked like someone killed grimace in the bathroom <laughs> <laughs> Grimace, he's a McDonald's guy. Yeah. So she's got on her Aritzia hoodie and her Lululemon pants again. And my Converse. Her Lululemon bag. Yeah. And my new phone. And her new phone. Does it fit in your bag? Yeah. You should put it in your bag. Well, and her it. book. She'd be reading. So anyways, we're going to a bunch of different stores. Sophie's looking for clothes. She already ordered another Aritzia hoodie. She wanted to try it out before she decided she liked it. She loves them. So she already ordered another one. It should be here in the next couple of days. What are you looking for? What's, your, what's the most thing you're excited about today? Um, clothes. But where else? A new store. Sephora. Sephora just opened in our mall. So she's excited to go there. Gabby is looking to go to the bookstore bookstore. All right, we're in Sephora and it is packed. I mean packed you guys. You can't even go anywhere. It's a brand new store. <laughs> Hopefully that's the only reason it's packed. But wow Sophie what do you want in here? There's a lot of stuff. She has a list on her phone that's when you know it's bad. Thank God. They even have a cleaning station here so like Sophie put stuff on her arm on her hand to see if it looked good. And they have like a whole cleaning station here with Q-tips and Kleenexes and alcohol wash. That is cool. It, this, this is bigger than the one that we've ever been to before. All right, so we're trying to decide, is it worth it to stand in like a five mile long line just to order one thing? All right, this is amazing. They have a book, Gabby. It's called Shelfie. How to style and display your collections. I've lost to children. I think they went to Starbucks. <laughs> it is amazing how much longer it takes for them to spend money when they are spending their own money. I just spent maybe an hour and a half with Gabby in the bookstore and she bought one book. One book, one little tiny book. It is way busier today than Christmas. Just like I was explaining to you guys, there's so many more people. Like during Christmas, we didn't ever have busy stores not once this year okay so i have a question for you do you notice that the girls take a lot longer to spend money and buy stuff when it's their own money like i don't know about sophie but <laughs> yeah, sophie can just go through anything and find what she wants but she's way more careful about what she buys when it's her money i promise you anyway we're almost done shopping i got a little present for a baby that's coming uh to our house tomorrow for Christmas our last Christmas celebration we've had four Christmas celebrations I love that so anyway I got him a little uh, he was just born a month ago so I got him oops, I got him a personalized ornament for the tree it says baby's first Christmas 2023 we are finally home and somebody's excited to see me <laughs> you're such a good baby <laughs> she's very excited <laughs> and she thinks that I have stuff for her Whoa! <laughs> Anyways, Ellie, stay down. Stay down. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff that we bought. We didn't buy a lot of stuff for Boxing Day. Like, remember, this is the day, like the whole city was out today. Oh my gosh, it took us the whole day to go shopping. Big difference than when oh. nobody's out. There was a clothing store on the mall that I wanted to go to, but Gabby was doing money. Yeah, it, we spent like hours in the bookstore. My little purse that I got for Christmas, this is it, turned out perfect. It's on sale now for like $300 off or something, which is super annoying. How much was it? <laughs> Those things are expensive. 
Sophie got these boots. It's the year of boots for her. She loves them. So now when we go out places and she has to wear like clothes that aren't her barn shoes, she has sneakers and boots that she can wear. Actually, she has a ton of really nice boots that she doesn't ever wear. But this year for Christmas, for like our family get together for Christmas with my grandkids, instead of playing games, we always play games, but everybody fights. When one person wins a prize, like when we have a game and somebody wins something, the little kids just don't understand. Even at Easter, when we have like a game where you have to find the golden egg or something, it always causes problems because people don't, the, the kids don't understand it. They don't like, they all want to win and I want to stay away from that. I don't want to do that. So instead of playing games this year, we are building gingerbread houses. It's not going to be a competition, but I bought all this stuff. This is like for bricks. Wait, can you guys see? It's going to be like bricks to build on the side of the gingerbread houses. I got crushed candy cane that you can build like a walkway with. I got really red, but it's purple. Yeah, the me. whole house is purple. My feet are pink. Yeah, here. her neck is pink. I got these little tiny um, snowflakes. Whoops, you guys can't see. These are little tiny snowflakes. They're so cute. I'm excited to use those. I, um, I got some little Ew. candies. You can use these as little Christmas trees candy around corn. the houses. Candy corn, Ew. but Christmas. I got hot chocolate. We're going to have hot chocolate tonight. Gabby and I at least. And... I got these for shingles for the roof. I thought that these... made those. Really? How? You chocolate blow up and then you put sprinkles on them. So That's like match, melt chocolate and then cut out circles and then put sprinkles? Well, this was a lot easier <laughs> just buying them. I bought a lot. And then I also got these. I think it's chocolate. It's supposed to be coal. Oh, they're like the chocolate rocks. Yeah, they're like chocolate rocks. I got a lot of those. Those were really expensive, but I think that they'll make really good designs on our Christmas trees or on our gingerbread houses. I thought like you could use these black coals to make a border around your garden for your around your house, or you could make a pathway with them. So you could like make a border of a pathway and then put these um, candy canes inside of it. I don't know. We're gonna do some fancy gingerbread houses. That's all I know, and I'm going to make my own icing for the first time ever. I also got these little trays that I thought that we could build them on. Because then they can just take them home when they're done with them. You won't have to move it or anything. You won't have to transfer it. You can just build it on here. And then it's done. But before we can set up all of our gingerbread stuff, we have to get a lot of stuff done before tomorrow. So I have to bake some stuff for our desserts and I have to get the turkey ready because we're gonna eat really early. Everybody's gonna arrive early tomorrow, but I'm really excited to share that with you guys to spend our day with the grandkids. I know a lot of you guys love when our grandkids are, when the grandkids are here, I'm so excited to see them, especially the big ones that have moved far, far away. I don't get to see them as often. I miss them so much. I actually got more stuff than just that. I got these little snowmen that they can put in the front yard of their little house. So they're gonna build like their own little thing. We were out shopping the whole day. We haven't even cleaned up from Christmas yet. Okay. Put all of our stuff away. All of our stuff is literally everywhere. We all have little piles everywhere. But Sophie got more stuff. So this is like an extended Christmas haul. I got six containers. They were a deal at the dollar store because it was two boxes for $1.50. Um, so I got What are you gonna do use, use with those? Um, I'll show you in a minute. And then I got one pink yarn, a black yarn. That's from the dollar store, it's really good quality. Um, a light blue yarn, a gray yarn, a dark brown yarn, so Sophie got a ton of new yarn. And a... Uh, cream? Cream. This book was $20. $20? You bought a $20 book? I'm impressed. Because it's got more than one book in it. Oh. It's because I saw the U.S. price and it's $15. Yeah, it, they always get you. Oh, wait. First come in here and show them your book that you got. Um, and remember, she spent all her own money. Notepad. Buy notebook. From my sticker printer. And then what I'm gonna put in the containers is slime. Oh, so she got those containers so she can make slime. I got it. And so Gabby 
the saver that she is, she bought one of the books that she was wanting. Was that expensive? That's an author that she reads. How much is it? $22? It's like the size of nothing. All Gabby's books are collector items, so for her. And then she got some bath and body stuff. That's it. Sophie is clearly the shopper, and Gabby is clearly the saver. It's a really cute baby. Oh, I loved those baskets. I know, I got one. I wanted the gray one, but I wanted Oh, it has a whale one. on the side of it? I didn't see the whales. There was also unicorns. Yeah, that those are and really crabs. cute. Rocky, and Rocky's too fat to fit through the fence. I guess the so horses were chasing the goats. Up, and Rocky almost got kicked. Christmas drama. So the goats all came out here where the goat where the horses can't get them. Wait. Sophie's new camera is so gorgeous. Wait, no, no, no! <laughs> oh, her oh, new hoodie! No. Help! <laughs> They're like, what? No. Just because you're leaning down, they think. No. <laughs> Look at how good no. they <laughs> Look how good they listen. No. Oh, Penny's going in. They're not good because. Wow, it's still pretty good. All right, we'll take some oh. at the, in the barn. Watch out, Molly. Watch out, Molly, because that goat will get you. Awesome. Only Ellie's small enough to fit. Look, oh my goodness. She found some. <laughs> she will eat anything. <laughs> She's so cute. I was reading the other day about how people say goats will eat anything but a well-fed goat a properly fed goat are very picky goat, goats are very picky i know you want to do stuff don't you know that you're beautiful